Tonight, a closer look at cutting-edge medical technology that is revolutionizing heart bypass surgery. Almost half a million bypass operations are done in this country every year. It's effective in replacing clogged arteries. But doctors have to open a patient's rib cage, and recovery can take months. Now some surgeons are using robots to help perform bypasses. They say it's better for patients and better for the bottom line. Here's ABC's Ned Potter. Roger Souter moves furniture for a living, and he felt ready to get right back to it just days after bypass surgery. I didn't feel bad. I had no pain. It was great. How could that be? How are we doing there? Good. Because most of his surgery was done with this robot called Da Vinci at the University of Maryland Medical Center in Baltimore. Traditionally, to reach the heart, doctors have to literally break open one's breastbone. Here, though, the surgeon makes only a few small incisions to insert tiny robotic arms in the patient's chest. If you can go in between the ribs, not crack any bones, then that just is one less thing you have to heal up. The operating room is sterile, which explains my surgical garb, but the concept is really very simple. By squeezing this hand controller, I can move that very tiny set of forceps. Doctors who use the system say they love it, and now they report for the first time that it pays for itself. While the machinery is expensive, more than a million dollars for a single operating room, they said the cost is offset because patients go home from the hospital three to seven days sooner. They've had one third of the need for blood transfusion, um, and they've had, you know, overall fewer complications. There are plenty of doubters, though. They say some hospitals are buying robots because it's sexy new technology they can advertise, not necessarily because it's better or safer. Are we getting the value for the dollars we're spending in healthcare? And from my perspective, the answer is no. But in the end, it may be those dollars that do the talking. Roger Souter was back at work quickly, and employers who complain about the cost of insurance are looking to save every dollar they can. Ned Potter, ABC News.